Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So the Ethereum chart shows us still here ongoing sideways action. We have not really seen a five wave move to the upside today. And um, we still haven't got any confirmation that a low is in place. We also haven't broken above resistance. I mentioned in the previous videos, we need at least a break above 3200 as an early indication that a low is formed, not confirmation. Okay, some people confuse that. Early indication is not confirmation that lows in. It just means that we at least, you know, we're breaking above initial resistance. We show we we see that the upside momentum is increasing, and then we can look at the next key level, which would then be at three thousand three hundred. That's the next level of confirmation. But essentially, because of the messy structure from the Saturday low last week, we need to see to really confirm a low is in place. Um, a five wave move up in yellow. Yeah, that's what from an analysis point of view needs to happen for us to confirm that a low has formed. I will, however, start to assume it if we get a break above $3,300. So there's an important difference between, you know, from an analysis point of view to objectively confirm a low is in and for me to assume it is in, please don't mix them up because one is sort of what I'm leaning to and the other one is what objectively the analysis tells us. Okay, there's a great difference. And the market doesn't care about what I'm leaning to, okay? Um, but, you know, the objective, the objective analysis is really what counts. And we have two counts here, two scenarios. In the yellow one, obviously after this third wave topped early March, we have an A wave down, a B wave rally, and a C wave down to complete the wave four here at around 2,789. And from this fourth wave low, a fifth wave to the upside can start. The problem is the rally was only in three waves. We did form a higher low, however, but we don't really have a higher low until the market breaks above this high. So that would be the next step that needs to happen. And that is at $3,300. So at the moment, all we have is a range, really. The market hasn't really gone anywhere since that 13th of April low nowhere okay we are below the breakout point above support so we, we really haven't seen any significant movement that would give us clear probabilities we always need five waves into a direction to get clear probabilities so the white count is still there the white count allows for a w x y structure and in the y wave we have an a b c and this could be the one, two, then three, four, five is one possibility. Um, I also tell you why a break above 3,300 will not be enough for me to confirm that a low is in. It will be additional confirmation, but really I need the five waves. Because this B wave, even if we break above that high, this B wave could easily extend. And then I have an A, B, C. Okay, a larger B. So... But I will always give you support levels so we can just track it higher. And if support breaks, okay, then we know the B wave has topped. So ultimately, not really, not really great clarity here at the moment on the smaller time frame. I think Bitcoin is clearly leading at the moment. Ether isn't leading. Bitcoin is still outperforming Ethereum, or at least they are very balanced. So the micro pattern here is also not great. We only see three waves up from the Saturday low. So yeah, we need some more patience here, unfortunately. Obviously. Around the Bitcoin halving, there's maybe a bit of uncertainty. That's exactly what the charts reflect. So we'll just wait. We'll see what happens on the weekend. Could be a quiet weekend. Um, we have still across the board not clearly completed these corrections, but ideally we're very close to completion or maybe have already bottomed. But I told you very clearly what we need to see in order to confirm that a low has formed. That's my update about Ether. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.